right, Gabe, thanks. The pandemic has dramatically altered how we vote, with ballots mailed to every voter in nine states and absentee voting permitted for all in 34 more. In tonight's Vote Watch, Morgan Radford on the challenges in Battleground, North Carolina. Christopher Gibson says he's voted in every election, but this year in North Carolina, he voted by mail for the first time. Voting is very important. I grew up in the Jim Crow era. You decided you were going to vote no matter what. If I had election. to crawl, if I had to crawl, I would have I would have gone. But his mail in ballot was rejected. He was missing a witness signature. In North Carolina, more than a million people have requested mail in ballots this year. But the rate of rejection for mail in ballots, those sent back because of inconsistencies, is four times higher for black voters than white ones. We still seem to be fighting to vote in 2020. Here are some of the issues that county officials in election offices like this one are seeing. For example, some of these mail-in ballots may be missing a signature or the signature of a witness, which is something that North Carolina requires. And for voters who are used to voting in person or early, voting for the first time on a mail-in ballot could lead to some mistakes. State election officials stress that the ballot review process is bipartisan that neither the envelope nor the ballot contain information about the voter's race. And voters are given a chance to correct their ballots before Election Day. Still, some voters are wary. Making sure that I did everything right according to the rules and making sure there's no excuses for my vote not being counted. Should other states be concerned that ballots could be being rejected en masse? There are voters all over the state and all over the country who are undergoing who have taken part in the mail balloting process for the very first time. We're urging people to, if you're going to vote by mail, do it early so that you're given a chance to correct it. And be counted. Morgan Radford, NBC News, Charlotte. In